Oh my days, I am on my way to a one mile track race. Wow, have I, I haven't actually done a track race in absolute ages. I don't know what I'm doing, but we are doing this. Um, yeah, the reason why is because you know what? I decided, um, I often encourage runners that I coach, being a coach myself, um, I encourage them to get out their comfort zone, you know, do races that you're not used to. And um, this right here is me taking a leap and, and getting completely out of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, I've actually never ever owned a pair of track spikes. I've done a few track races like years back um, But yeah, that was me lending a pair of spikes from my mate So they arrived just in time um, the ones I ordered last night I was actually I mean and ring if they don't come in time what I'm gonna do, but they're here and we committed um, And yeah, thank you tracksmith for the entry um, originally, I probably wasn't going to do it when I got the entry, but um, after seeing the timetable, it worked out quite nicely that it falls over nap time. Um, those parents out there with two young kids will know exactly what I mean. So, yeah, zipping out during nap time. Um, however, when I saw the start list, I didn't realize that they would put me um, in the main event. So, yeah, a little bit later than normal, but nonetheless, I committed and, and here we are. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. You know what? It is an, an amateur event. It's not a pro event, but main events for me in the track race maybe stretching a little bit um but yeah you know what on to to my objectives for the race i think i just want to execute a good race um so to remind you where i am on what's gone on the last few weeks four weeks ago i ran copenhagen marathon with anya ran it didn't race it um and then i raced hackney half and then i took a recovery week um and here i am throwing myself into the deep end in a, in a one mile track race um and you know what, obviously I'm nowhere near peak fitness. I want to sort of peak in 16 weeks time at Berlin. But I also figured life is far too short to, to not get involved in these fun sorts of things. So yeah, I've got a couple of best athletics teammates doing it. Um, and it's four and a bit laps, right? How bad can it be? Um, so time wise, I think, you know what, anywhere around 4.30ish. Um, if I can go sub 4.30, amazing. Um, but you never know when it's such a short race. It's all about clicking in that little period of time I know when I did my 5k PB um, I, I went about I was hoping to go 1450 and I went 1434. So I was about 16 seconds faster um, Which was way quicker, but I just got like dragged along by a massive group um, And I looked at the the start list for my race originally there were about 25. There's now about 15 or so <laughs> So every time I check, it's getting smaller and smaller, but I'm hoping there's a bit of a group um, and yeah, I'm not going to get carried away, hopefully, and go out with the big dogs and then hit the Great Wall of China. I definitely don't want to do that. But yeah, you know what? It's actually quite a special one for me um, because I'm here at Tooting Track and it's the home of Hearn Hill Harriers and uh, Hearn Hills, who I ran with originally um, for my first two and a half years in London before I started Best Athletics. Um, I'm still second claim with Hearn Hill. Uh, what a club it is. I see they got a, a few guys in the race as well. Um, and the last race I did here on the track was a one hour track race. So run as far as you can in an hour. Um, I managed to win that one. If you gave me the option now of a one hour track race or a one mile, I'll probably take the one hour. I think it's more suited to me. Um, but yeah, time to get the energy drink in. Um, I've got a speed suit that I'm wearing. I was umming and ahhing on whether I go normal race kit or speed suit. Um, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to run in whatever I feel comfortable in. I figured, you know what, if Jakob Ingebrigtsen can pull it off, um, we've got to fake it till we make it. So, speed suit it is, spikes on, and let's go. Okay, so funny story quickly before I get going. Um, so before I left home, um, and you know what, I've been running for around 10 years now, but I actually had to Google whether or not you should wear socks or not for wearing track spikes. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I've got a pair of, of secret socks. I don't know, I'll see how they feel when, when I put them on. Hopefully the calves don't break. Um, but yeah, I actually feel like, you know what? Because it's not what I'm used to, what I'm comfortable with. I feel like I'm a kid invited to another kid's birthday party. Um, so time to have a little bit of fun and hopefully put a, put a decent time on the board. Let's go, Amy! Looking so good! 
Well done, well done, guys. The red light. Tom's recording for us, you're legend. On your marks. Let's go Nick. Let's keep the noise going. Well done. So quick. It's crazy. <laughs>
Oh my word guys, that was actually surprisingly freaking awesome. I was probably about 10 seconds faster than I thought I'd be. Maybe I should focus on these for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, thanks to Luke over here from Reading. Um, we, on, we kept each other honest. I don't know if you'll see from the video, but we had both lactated so hard in the final yeah, yeah, hundred. Yeah. I was you came through like a train though, man. You came through like a train. Like a, like That's a blue. the endurance show, isn't it? <laughs> for sure. But awesome race. Well, then you're happy? Thanks so much. Yeah, good. Shout out to Reading AC. Shout out to Booth's Track Club. Keeping it real. <laughs> see you at the next time. See you later. Cheers. All that's left to say is boom, shaga, laka. Guys, you know what, eh? In running, you get good days and you get bad days, and today was just a good, good day. Obviously, after Hackney half, I was a bit disappointed. Um, <clears throat> but today, given the shape I'm in, it's probably the best possible result I could have hoped for. Um, 4.22.20 was my official result. Um, so 2.42 per kilometer pace. Uh, and yeah, I don't even know when the last time was that I did a, a 2.42 kilometer. So pretty much... Sorry guys, I just had to cross the road there and I'm not the best at multitasking, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think I finished around 11th, um, which I'm, I'm stoked with, but honestly, just such a, a feel good run. I think I, I ran a very smart race from a, a timing point of view. I think I was fairly consistent. At the end, the body wanted to go a little bit quicker, but you know, I haven't trained for a one mile race, so I didn't expect um, a super, super sharp finish. Uh, but yeah, there were a couple of guys, we we're all keeping each other on our toes. It was a whole lot of fun, I think. I'm definitely going to look to do a couple more in the summer and I think it's something that will take my running to the next level. You know, I went 2.20 and 8 seconds at Berlin last year. Hopefully with, with a few more of these races, I'll find a second each time. <coughs> oh, You know when you can feel that feeling in the back of your throat, knowing that you gave it your absolute all. Yeah, guys, I was the only one in a speed suit. The guys left me hanging. I thought there would be a couple more. Um, but hey, if it makes me run like that, then maybe I should wear a speed suit more often. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know what, the only thing I could have done better was I could have fought for a better position on the track. Um, I found myself in lane two sometimes, you know, even in lane three on the outside. <clears throat> so I ended up running a little bit more than a mile, but I think that comes with track running ex experience and I didn't want to, you know, barge my way in. <coughs> so I just accepted my position and did what I could from there and uh, onwards and upwards. Um, congrats to all of us who, who ran today. It was a, an amazing vibe out there. And uh, yeah, that's the beauty of one mile races. As you come here, you leave, and time to go have a celebratory bry. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so here's the official results here. Massive congrats to Jack who finished in 4.12. I was stoked to finish in 12th position in 4 minutes and 22 seconds. So here's a look at my heart rate throughout the race. It progressively climbed, which is exactly what you're after. However, I must say in recent times, my heart rate max has been 187. In this race, I pushed it to 183. Could I have pushed a little bit harder? So I'll finish this video off with a running assessment I did a few days prior to my race with R&D yeah, Physio. They're based in Vauxhall, right? London, and it really gives you good insights into areas I can improve on and work on going forward. Let's go find those seconds. Left side, this is where you push off, this yeah. is where you make contact. It doesn't always mean that it's on your heel, that your heel's right. This is just a schematic in the diagram. Wow. You can see left Achilles doesn't want to take load how much heavier, just a lot harder. It's not absorbing force as well. Okay. Whereas right side is a lot softer. Yeah, that makes sense. And you sense. can see that with the push off schematic as well. So you can see more pressure in through here and not generating as much big toe pressure, whereas your right side, you're getting that big toe to work a bit harder. Left side is just not working hard through that sort of foot calf Achilles complex. Yeah. As we come through, just having a look at side to side, pretty even, although your left foot and right foot, there's a bit more right foot rotation, which might insinuate maybe the left side just a little bit stiffer as well, stiffness of the foot or stiffness even at the hip level. Okay. Yeah. And you've got your step plane side to side within two centimeters, that's normal. If we go down and have a look at your cadence, 179, I think for someone your height, 179, 180 is really, really good. It's just about refining the quality of that 180 and wouldn't be looking to increase your cadence. And then obviously from a step contact point, you're 0.3 for a second per side on yeah. average with yeah. the ground. I'd want to get that down closer to 0.3 flat. Okay. That's uh, typically where we'll see people at the elite level, you know, trying to push 219. And okay. Like I always challenge nice. you, sub, <laughs> sub 215 there's, there's, some, there's tiny improvements to be made, that's for sure. Cool. 
Um, and you can see this here, this is your center of pressure butterfly. Your center of pressure is just falling onto your right ever so slightly. So your right side is working a little bit harder and taking a bit more of the front there. And then as we come through, this is your force and pressure curves. You can see your left side's having to work a lot harder to kind of keep going at marathon pace. Wow. Right side's a lot more economical, right? And then you want to get this left side to come down because it, the idea is like, even though you're pushing the red line, you have to find economy in a marathon. For sure. Whereas if you're doing a 100 meter race, it's not about economy, it's about go, 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 red line, finish it. It's, it's done in 10 seconds. Yeah, cool. So that's what I'd want to improve on here. You can see your force curve here, a bit of braking force. I'd like to see a nice smooth curve up and down. Yeah. Same with this side here. You can see maybe a little bit less braking force on the right side, but still a tiny bit of braking, and that will just be that touch of overstride that we're noticing at the moment. Yeah. And then from your pressure perspective, you can see right side really nice high toe off pressure. Left side a bit shallower, not as high on the toe off pressure there as well. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Definitely um, areas to improve on. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nice to know.